we're here and spend the day with me or kind of get ready with me today girl math is if you have something to do at night you literally have to dedicate the whole day to getting ready it's a little too quiet in here excuse me ma'am Sylvia, get from over there that is not your territory um girl math when you have somewhere to go or something to do you literally have to spend all day getting ready and i have to celebrate my bestie's birthday today mexico turned 24 so i'm dedicating today with getting ready and since sev is here it's gonna take twice as long so get ready with me this is a thing now don't worry, I'm gonna get the covers. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. I hate those things because I myself struggle with getting them off, but um, she she's just adventurous right now. Do you see this one, Savannah, don't touch that. Do you see this one, stop. No, no, no. Yeah. Don't touch it. Do you see this one? Uh, sorry. Savannah, no, that's not a toy, yeah. baby. No, no. No, 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 no. This is not a game. Stop. <laughs> Do you see this one curl? I know, but you can't have it. I'm sorry. You can play with almost anything else in this house. No. I'm sorry for hurting your feelings, but we got on a little Halloween. PJs. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is I have somewhere to go tonight and I have nothing to wear, which is okay because I feel like my best outfits come to mind when I'm working under pressure. Let's see how successful this video is with Sev because I'm not seeing much of um, success going to be happening. So I was driving a second ago and... She's brushing her teeth. Uh, I don't know why this little toothbrush thing keeps her so occupied. So we're using that for a second. But my first question of the day of this video. Hold on, let me erase it. Oh, whoa, 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 what, what's going on? I thought we had an agreement. We wasn't going to touch anything. What happened to that? You really have to push yourself first in order to just be content with life. And it sucks because who really wants to be self-centered, you know, so? <laughs> Seb is like my therapist. I literally be talking to her like she can understand me. To live the ultimate carefree life, you really just have to put yourself first. And it goes way beyond just putting yourself first. I mean this in every aspect of life. Most of the time, the only thing that upsets us is our decisions or people's reaction to what we do or say to them. And both of those things are in your control. So if it's option number two and someone upsets you, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't think they get it though, but I'm glad you get it. Mm -hmm. Mommy has face wash on though. Mommy's gonna brush your teeth in a second. I'm just letting you do it first. You control how you react to people's reaction to whatever you do or say to them. And I'm realizing just like, if I don't get the reaction or the response that I didn't expect or wasn't my intent to receive based off of my actions prior to that, just don't care only interact with things that'll better you or make you softer or make you overall happier in a sense now that is a little hard because sometimes people will say that their life is very dull and they like to see the drama that goes on with other people's life because you know it just gives a little bit of entertainment but um how i feel about that or how i go about that is sometimes i'm not gonna lie i do be invested in stuff but Along with my attention span being trash, yeah, mommy's attention span is trash. If I'm watching something, say like a story time, so there, say ah, say ah, ah, 
There we go. Big eye. Hello. It's 1 p.m. by the way. Top of the drive to not wanting to finish the video based off of my attention span. I also think mid video when I see things getting a little unhealthy or just toxic is is this video benefiting me anyway? Is this video making my life softer, making my life easier? Am I learning anything from this video? X, Y, and Z. And then once I establish that I'm not, I end up scrolling. It could be a really good story. It could be really juicy, really dramatic, really messy. But once I go through that checklist of if it's beneficial for me or not, I kind of just end up scrolling. I think that also plays a part in... Um, with the life you manifest. Right. Right. I didn't want to hold you all day today. We got stuff to do. Well, I got stuff to do, but I'm going to take you along with me, duh. You see something you want. You don't need it. Clip. I really feel like you should start learning how to put yourself first and I know again it's easier said than done and sometimes it takes a level of build up to start doing that but once you start you will realize that it was something you should have been done. What prompted me to say this right now is because I was watching a video yesterday of a lady who was 53 and she said she just figured out why she didn't live as soft of a life and it was because she kept putting other people's feelings into her actions meaning if i did this this is gonna make someone feel this way and she lived like that her whole entire life it genuinely wasn't what she wanted to do it was what she thought other people would want her to do and with that being said at the ripe age of 23 we need to start putting ourselves first Exactly. Where would I be without you as my hype man? You make me feel understood and heard. Yeah. Okay, that was a stretch. I was not cleaning my ears that hard. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. To touch topic one more time of what I was about to say is once i started putting myself first in certain decisions in my life it started pissing a lot of people off and how i feel about that is honestly i'd rather you be pissed off than i'm pissed off and you know you're obviously doing whatever the fuck mommy sorry i didn't mean it you didn't hear that i didn't say that there was decisions in my life where i was like okay if i do this this will this will you know benefit someone else this will make them happy this will make them proud this will do that and it never really did honestly and that's because you don't get that confirmation on if it does or doesn't you're kind of just going based off of the what ifs in your mind and then most of the times once we see that what if not being our reaction that we want that's when we start getting the down feeling that we were trying to avoid but we still get because it wasn't confirmed that that was the feeling we were going to get in the first place and um now again at the ripe age of 23 Putting myself first just leads me to not being pissed off and the other parties or whoever the party is being the pissed off one. And why not just piss someone else off instead of yourself? Because at the end of the day, they got to deal with it, not you. Okay, yes, you might have a little guilty conscience about it. When people are upset or mad about something, they tend to dwell on it and think about it for a while. So the next time you make a decision for another person, See what the decision would be beneficial for yourself and do that one. And then once you decide to decide for yourself and not the benefit of someone else, come back to this video and then comment how it went. And then let me know. Exactly, my baby. She's my number one fan. People were asking if Seb has screen time. I don't want to raise an iPad baby, which is why you see her just running around this house free willingly but um i do give her screen time when i'm trying to do something with her 
or that involves her sitting still. So I usually only give her screen time if I'm doing her hair. Um, in the car, I'll play like baby music, but as far as actually staring at something, no. Um, one thing is like when she's with the babysitter, like family or friends, they'll have her a lot of screen time. So I feel like the time I don't give her screen time, she's catching up with it with them. I would not like her to be in front of a screen all day. And I'm only saying I don't want her in front of a screen all day because I need her to be very aware of her surroundings. And when babies are in front of a screen all day, it's very hard to pay attention to anything else going on because of all the colors and the sound. The main thing I am interested in when it comes to no screen time is if I'm calling her name, she can respond. Meaning if I'm saying Savea and she's watching TV, I need her to look at me. Or if there's some crazy noises going on, I need her to tap out of that TV and pay attention to what's going on. So because of that, I don't give her screen time unless I'm doing her hair. And I usually only play super simple or um, tap time with tap at the brown or uh, really old TV shows that I watched as a kid. So, um, Oswald the Octopus, um, Max and Ruby, um, Maggie and the Ferocious Beast, like anything that I was watching as a kid, she would watch. I'm not into the new stuff because I'd be seeing too many parents talk about She's doing a great time keeping herself entertained. Let me show you. <laughs> New TV shows overstimulate their kids in every way possible with all the colors and stuff. And honestly, the bad quality of the TV shows isn't that bad. It's not as overstimulating because it's not as colorful. And you know, they don't talk as much in the old TV shows either. And I'm assuming that's why she is always moving around. She is playing with the rug. All right, this is my look for the rest of the day. I don't know if I told you, but I literally love spending my weekends with Seth because during the week I am just on go. Whether it's like working out, business stuff, it's getting stuff and errands done. Last night we had like a binging series. She was asleep, but I was watching a Netflix show called Nobody Wants This. It's new, I believe. And it's so freaking good. Like that is one of the shows that I am actually interested in. The only show that I've actually genuinely been interested in forever. And I guess because it's like a comedy romance and we don't see that often. But I think I have a high level of sarcasm and that show is so sarcastic and it just feels like I am the show and the show is me and we get each other and I love it and I'm on episode five and there's 10 episodes and it's only like 25 minutes each. So I hate that because why is such a good of a show? Um, so short. Savea. Come on. Follow the mommy. You're a little crooked, sorry about that. Oh, you look so good. Uh, okay. We're about to do your hair, Savannah. I just bought this to start putting in her hair. So we're gonna try that. Hold on. We're gonna try this today in her hair with a little bit of that, which is coconut oil. She sleeps on her back still, so the back of her hair right here is kind of dry. Everywhere else, it's pretty moisturized trying to show you everywhere else <clears throat> so yeah that that's this specific spot in the back is why I'm trying something new All right, Seba's hair is done. I did bad today. It helps with hair growth when you're stimulating their scalp, whether it's like brushing their hair, styling it. So along with just trying to stimulate 
her scalp. I'm gonna get her used to doing her hair daily so she knows when it's time to just sit down and take a break because any other time she's doing anything but that. Mommy could have did you some little bantu knots, but um, I think you look really pretty. Yes, you do. <laughs> Hello, Steph. We got some bad barding, some little baby hairs. We got, um, yeah. I think you look beautiful. <laughs> If it's one thing I'm not ever going to recommend to anyone, it's a diaper pail because these things, like, okay, yeah, it keeps the smell in the pail, but as soon as you open that pail to drop another diaper in that, the whole room smells like poop, smells like pee, smells disgusting. And these are scented garbage bags I use for it, and they still smell disgusting. So, um, skip out on a diaper pail, maybe maybe just maybe okay i'm gonna start off by seeing if you want a little wafer I have a variety snack thing of subs in here see if you want that first yeah i am the one that eats sub snacks yes I'm that mom. I finished a bag of these. She didn't touch them. Strawberry banana, freeze dried yogurt. I love them. She hates them. So it works out. I buy the snacks. She doesn't like them. So I eat them. Do well, you're not eating it? Oh, now you want it. Influence. And just so you know, I'm just not stealing all her snacks. Watch. She's not gonna eat this. She don't like sweet stuff. She don't like it. She's more of a savory girl. So all the sweet snacks, I have to eat them. It is currently 3.15. I just cleaned my baby off and she's now asleep. I don't know if I'm gonna lay her down or just cuddle with her. I'm probably gonna sit here for a good five minutes and decompress and then move around. It's like 4.30. I am running around now. I have to drop Siv off, which has taken a lot of my time because that's a far drive. But I am packing everything for her right now. Look at the twins! Come on. Come on, Savannah. Come on. Come on. I'm not sure what time it is, but I am curling my hair now. All right, so my hair is curled. We are going to sew these pants now. Attempt to sew these pants now. Ooh, we got the messy snake. Did you see his hair? You like it? Yeah, he showed me his hair yet. Wave check. Wave check. She did what you asked for, Little Rod. I never I said did. she didn't. I like that. I didn't say she didn't do what I asked. That's nice. You need to spray some, um, before I go to bed, remind me to spray some old shit on the pillow. I'm semi vegan. What are you eating? Rice. Semi, semi. 
We got the semi going right there. I don't know she know. About you? Yeah. So you're a cheater? No. Then why would you be worried? Only cheaters are worried. Hmm. I ain't worried. You sound worried. I was. Cheater. No, I don't. Does it look bad? Yes. Oh, wow. Roger? I got some pants you can wear. Okay, let me see. Do you want another mask? It's a size 18. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. I just need to get stuff. sewing machine it's different from the other one which is broken all right we went in about one and a half inches same thing on the other side <laughs> no but i'm gonna take your sunglasses if that's okay the gucci ones the gucci ones no i want the length i just need the waist to be going in I want them to be oversized because I'm wearing heels, you know? Bless you. Bless you. What if I do this cat the cat? Bless you. Oh, I did it too tight. Too tight, huh? Fits? Is that hot? No, it's off. Oh, they fit. Yeah. Yeah. You got one ponytail in all right we fixed the pants we got a little hip moment because i have no hips did you want any of these socks um no maybe the orange ones they're oversized i'm probably gonna oh <laughs> mom is that a purse or a keychain keychain no surveyor if these are bills, put them back. All right, y'all, I forgot to rob my mama of her shade, so we're going back in. If you ever buy one of those things, you know you don't use it, because I don't use it, and it's in here, so she don't use it. All right, 7.20, I just made it home. I'm about to take a super quick shower, and then put my lashes on, take my hair out, and then I'm done. So I can do all of this in 20 minutes. I think I did good. I think I did good. I'm gonna also cut my eyebrow. Oh, I think I cut it yesterday. I'm gonna touch up my eyebrow because it's a little, a little patchy, just a little bit. And I might do my skincare. I love you just want a little bit of blush on. The Fenty Beauty blush is cute, but I wanted something a little brighter. This is more of like a dark color. So I'm probably just gonna go on with some lip tint. I like the bright colors because right now specifically it goes with the highlights in my hair and it kind of just all ties together. The highlights also go with these pants. Actually, before I start moving, let me do this to my hair before I forget. Oh, this stuff smells so good. Hair spray. I know this is gonna make my hair like crunchy, but just a tiny bit. All right, there we go. And then my shower cap, which is now a shower cap. To so just preserve the hair. Girl, it's a whole, it's a whole process when it comes to doing things as a girl. Like, why do we have to do, men just hop in the shower? Sometimes, sometimes. They, they do occasionally wear shower caps and bonnets now. But like, there used to be a time where you could just hop in the shower. And women could never really just hop in the shower. It had always been a process. And I hate that for us because out of women and men, women are obviously the the ones that are bad with the timing. And that's why, that is why. I did not do the full everything shower, which I wish I did because who doesn't love an everything shower? I rarely get those in anymore. I'm getting ready now. I don't know if I wanna do like sleeves or shirt. My outfit's super simple, and um, you know, simple's cool, but this is what it's looking like. It just looks like 2000s diva. 
But hear me out. Long sleeve. This is going to give 2000s diva it girl. You see, things like this matter in the outfit. It's literally both black shirts, but one is a long sleeve one, which will really complement the top of my body since the bottom is all baggy. Or we could do this one, which is just like, eh, like it's hot outside. I don't want to be hot. This is what that gives. <sighs> which one are we thinking? Let me know. Graphic, because this is like a vibe. This is a vibe, right? Okay, let me, let me just try this one on, on top of it and see what it's looking like. I have about 15 minutes to get ready and I'm lollygagging around. But um, this would be cool too, but I don't know, like, I don't know if this is the vibe I'm going for, you know? No, this is not the vibe. I'm most likely gonna brush the curls out, which is the least favorite part of this, but we'll see. I'm gonna take you along the night in like small snippets just so you can have a girls night. If you a mama and you ain't get to get out, you're getting out tonight. We're getting out tonight. I'm low key thinking about wearing the other shirt. And we're gonna comb out the hair because I have to, like, I'm sorry, I just have to, I can't do this. Okay, this is more my speed. <laughs> I'm going to put this shirt on and not that shirt. I'm gonna try to put this shirt on and I will get back to you on if I feel like succeed. Feel like succeed. Yeah. Although this one is super tight, I think I like this one more. Um, it just really enhances the body. I'm also gonna do like a little skin moment, something like this maybe, or should I hide it? What do you think? Is the other one better? No, I don't know. Ride is two minutes away. We are not ready. Yay, yay, yay. Not really. Yeah. All right, y'all, we switched to the personal phone. This is the drink I got. Drive the boat or hit the blind. No, eh, wrong no. answer. <laughs> no, it's not. Because I'm going to get drunk. Yeah. Damn. You need to drive the boat.
be in the studio like this. Some gymnast uh, cartwheels right there. Update, it's in the night. I'm sober. Everybody else late. I'm looking for some apple juice. It is... What time is it? Oh, you're on the phone. She's the first one on the phone tonight. You call back. It's 222. It's 222. I said yes. We got some water. Water for Miss Drunk over <laughs> Who's Bay? Nobody. Bay at 3 in the morning? <laughs> That's messy. Mama. I went to the We lost Mexico. We have to do what we want. We do. Get a section. Get lit. So you can hug up with my face. And they're like, no. I did that tonight. You had a good night? Um, yeah. What time is it? Like 2.30 in the morning? I didn't eat today, though. And I got to go tailgating in the morning. So. It ain't going to be a good morning. For none of us. How you feel? I feel like a cool eight. Okay. A good eight. You okay. know, a good eight. Like perfect. Just, yeah, just there. Good. Not too much. Yeah, six, seven, 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 same. I'm gonna say I'm a nine, but I am like functional. Yeah, like I'm not sloppy. <laughs> That's good yeah, though. Like, we took the perfect amount of shots. Yeah, right. Nine a.m. in the morning, and I have reunited with my bestie. I meant to call you last night when I made it home. But I didn't even want you to see me in those conditions. They weren't bad. But I didn't want you to see me like that. So, um, we're here morning after, a couple hours later. I'm about to cuddle with Sev and get us dressed because we have plans in like a couple, two hours. <laughs> 